What is good, Ignition? It's Stock J back with another video. And in this one, I'm going to be talking about the one and only AMC stock, what you should be looking after for the future. I'm also going to be talking about why on earth AMC still has insane squeeze potential, why this thing is still very bullish in my eyes. I want to break down how high this thing may even end up squeezing to. Now, before I break anything down, before I get into any more details, I do have to mention a couple of things before starting. Firstly, I'm not, a, I'm not a financial planner, so take none of this as financial advice whatsoever. And also, if you guys can, please smash the like button if you want to see more videos like this. It not only benefits me, it benefits the entire Ape community as a whole. And the last things, if you guys can, please check out the Moomoo link down below in the description. If you sign up for Moomoo, the link down below and deposit 100 bucks into the account. You're guaranteed up to 15 free stocks, each worth up to $2,000. And the best part is any could be a free AMC share and a free Tesla share. You'll also be entered into a giveaway that gives you the chance to win up to sixty thousand dollars so please check it out before they run out offer ends in just one week but that's out of the way let's get on with the video looking at amc this thing was actually uh looking pretty okay as of right now it still is very low compared to its all-time high so so now the question is how high could amc actually squeeze to and i want to actually talk about this all right one thing people are talking about is the fact that the cost to borrow is now at one of the highest levels we've ever seen, and this thing is likely going to cause AMC to run up. I believe that in the future, yes, that is likely going to be the case, but for the super short term, I'm just not as certain. But I want to prepare you guys for any potential like high numbers in case this thing does pop when people least expect it. All right, so the first thing you have to remember would be support and resistance levels. What you could do is you can actually draw out a Fibonacci retracement, start from the high and go to the low. I mean, you could technically do this. It would be less meticulous. And you can actually calculate where AMC's key uh, resistance levels could be. We can see that obviously the previous peaks will be resistance levels, not to mention the all-time high. But I also want to note the fact that FOMO alone and retail alone are not the only reason that this thing came up. Uh, I wanted to note the fact that when looking at AMC, there are likely going to be a lot of hedge funds buying into these shares when they start covering, not to mention institutions, not to mention formal from retail, a bunch of people are going to be involved in this. And for that reason, the buying pressure, the hype, the shorts covering, and I do believe they eventually will, Adam Aaron will find a way, I'm not going to bet against them, they will help this thing run. So what do we know? We know this thing can hit $44. We're 100% certain it can again, right? Squeezes don't just happen one time in history. They can happen multiple times. But if this thing keeps running, what's going to happen is more people are going to be incentivized to start selling. And there are going to be lots of articles coming out saying, sell your AMC shares, get out of it. And I completely understand why people would feel frustrated and maybe even try selling at these higher numbers, seeing how low AMC has been over the past 12 months. But I'm not losing faith in what it can do. So when it comes to AMC running to the upside, I really believe that it's very likely that AMC will run to 44 and then break past it. And then what's going to happen is when shorts start covering, there's no telling how high it's going to go. Shorts covering can actually take this to a few hundred per share. It still is very possible, right? But the thing I wanted to mention is the fact that we also don't know how high it could actually go to when it peaks because the impossible could sometimes still be reality. If you look at HKD, this thing managed to squeeze from $12 up to $2,500, and the market cap of this thing was in the hundreds of billions. With that said, I think when we calculated this peak, we found that this peak actually would have been equivalent to AMC hitting like four or 5,000. If you account for APE, that would be like maybe a little less, maybe like uh, three to about 3,000 per share. AMC could definitely do it too, right? I really believe it's possible. The only reason why I'm still very careful when it comes to when uh, trading and and uh, selling your AMC shares on the way up, though, is the manipulation. Because AMC is subjected to crazy, crazy manipulation. Could they take away the buy button again? I mean, they technically could. I don't see what entities are actually going to try to stop them from doing it. But it's not just that. It's also because they have other tricks up their sleeves. Back during, not that run-up, this run-up right here, 
Why did AMC get stopped in March? This thing would have just squeezed like crazy. What they did was AMC was running and running. They did not halt it on the way up. They halted it on the way down. And when they do this, it really shows the extent of the manipulation to try to slow this thing down. That's why I plan on selling on, in brackets on the way up when this thing actually squeezes. And of course, the squeeze is on the table. Could AMC hit 2000 a share? Yes. Yes, it really can. HKD was able to do it with crazy FOMO, with the shorts covering. It still can happen, especially if you account for those synthetics. But at the very least, let's, let's just say we want to talk about how high AMC could go to relative to where it currently is. And let's just say that not all the shorts end up covering. Let's just say they find a way again to drag this out. Well, during another run-up, I believe, okay, that this thing has the potential to break past its high of $44. And I believe that it's very likely that once it breaks its high, this thing is going to continue to pump and we're going to see a very high number, but it's going to get stopped somewhere, just like how it did in June. Whether they pull the buy button, if they try that, or if they halt it down, and I, I wouldn't be surprised if this is around like 100 a share, maybe a little higher than that. I can actually see that happening. And what could end up happening is we have cyclical squeezes, right? Just like how this thing is having like this, a January squeeze, a March one, a June one, the March one for 2022, the August one, we might see a similar pattern where AMC has these run-ups, runs up to like 100, it comes down to like 20, stays there for a few weeks, then we see another run up to like 200, it comes down. We could just repeat this cycle over and over again, which is completely fine because we could still see a big bang for our bucks in this play. But just note that the, the potential of this thing to hit 2K a share, 2000 a share, just like HKD is still there. And this thing will run when the time is right. I'm very bullish, guys. I'm bullish on what Adam Aaron is doing. I'm bullish on the squeeze potential. I'm very bullish that AMC is going to make a comeback, no matter what the shorts try to say. That's essentially what I have for this video. We know the shorts are being hurt by this high cost to borrow. I believe that as time goes on, this could even get worse as interest rates get higher, as there are less and less of these shares available to borrow. I believe it's a, becoming a really bad situation for shorts. And maybe within the next few months, because remember, this thing went up in like June overall cost to borrow it went like crazy back in like june and it wasn't until like uh it wasn't until august when amc ran so sometimes this peaks a few months before the big runs start so amc might have a massive run in the next few months right it, it could even happen within the next few weeks who knows but just to be realistic it may take a couple of months to actually happen and if it does happen it might be absolutely massive so that's a very very good sign for us how high will it go to if the cost of borrow is that high, it might break these highs right here, guys. It might break all-time highs during the next run-up. I believe it's very possible. The, the big run-up I'm talking about, not a run-up to like $10, a huge run-up past $20, past $30, past $40. I could see this thing hitting 100 at the very least during the next run-up. And it really depends on what they do once it's up there. I mean, I, I know these shorts are very very sketchy people. They're going to try all sorts of tricks to stop us, to try to get us to sell. Who knows? If it goes that high, maybe they even get margin called and this thing goes to like the thousands. It's still very possible. The bottom line is the play is not dead whatsoever. So anyways, thank you all for listening. I'm very bullish on AMC long-term and I hope you guys have a great weekend. Thank you, AMC to the moon, because the long-term future is still very bright and peace out.